Hello, everybody. I feel like Grover when I say that. Good morning, College Street. I hope that you guys are enjoying your time off at home with your families, and we are missing you up here at the school. We hope that you are learning some new things at home and playing games and playing outside when it's not raining. And we are going to be sending you some videos throughout the next week, maybe two, maybe three, and helping you learn and grow your brain and think about new things. So today, we're going to do a first grade number talk using Reckon Rex. The first time I used Reckon Rex with my first graders, they were like, what the heck is a Reckon Rex? So that's what we're gonna talk about first. We're gonna use a wreck and wreck that looks like this one today. When we are at school, we use a different kind of wreck and wreck. We use one that looks like this. And this wreck and wreck, if you'll notice, oh, I'm gonna give you a few seconds. Tell each other what you notice about this wreck and wreck. Did you notice that it has white and red beads? And did you notice that there's five of the white and five of the red on the top and on the bottom? And if you notice that there's five and five, then you might also remember that you also walk around with five and five all of the time on your hands. So we know that five and five makes 10. So we have 10 beads on the top and we have 10 beads on the bottom. Or we could think about it this way. We have 10 white and 10 red. So there's lots of things that we can do with the wreck and wreck. Since you guys don't have this wreck and wreck at home, we're gonna use wreck and wrecks like this one. And if you wanna make this at your house, you can. I used foam rectangles. I got these at Walmart. You can get a big old package of them. And then, I use pipe cleaners that look like this. I stuck holes in the foam with the tip of my pipe cleaner. And when it came around the back, I twisted the top and bottom ones together on both sides. Before I twisted them together on my pipe cleaners, I put red and white beads. They call these pony beads. They come in white and red and purple and blue and all kinds of colors. So you can use these beads to make your own wreck and wreck. And these are great for counting or adding or subtracting. They're really awesome to use at home. Wreck and wrecks come in all kinds of shapes and sizes. My grandma gave me this one. She uses it at her senior citizen center to keep score when they're playing chicken foot. And then last summer at a garage sale, I found this one. I think it's from the 1950s. It's pretty old. I'm not really sure how old it is, but I was very excited. It only cost a dollar. And it has five and fives. So each row has 10 and it goes all the way down with lots of colors and has lots of places for us to add and subtract even bigger numbers and count up to bigger numbers. So today we are going to use our wreck and wreck to do doubles and near doubles. For example, if I showed three on the top and three on the bottom, does anybody know that doubles fact? How many would three and three be? Remember, we're only looking at the beads that I've slid over. We're not looking at the beads on that side. Did you say six? If you said six, give yourself a pat on the back. You are right. Three and three more is my doubles fact. That makes six. So if I know three and three make six, then I can do one more and add another bead to my double. So now I've changed my fact to four plus three. That means my answer is gonna be one more than six. Did you say seven? Four plus three makes seven. Or I can go back to my doubles fact. I'm moving my bead over, I'm back at three plus three, and I can change it to one less. Watch what I'm going to do. I moved my bead over and I made three plus two. Is three plus two going to be one more or one less than three plus three? If you said one less, you are right. Three and two more makes five. So if we know our doubles fact for three plus three, 
then we can also do our near doubles facts. That works with lots of numbers. Let's do another doubles fact so you can practice it. So I'm gonna slide my beads back over and I'm gonna start over with four plus four. Do you know your doubles for four plus four? Did you say eight? So if I know four plus four is eight, then I can add one more and have a near double fact. I changed my fact to five plus four. If I know five plus four is one more than four plus four, what number's one more than eight? Did you say nine? Let's go back to our original double fact of four plus four. Now I want to change it to a one less fact. My near double would be four plus three. So I'm gonna have to change my wreck and wreck. Now I have four and three. So this one is one less. If I know four plus four is eight, then one less would be, did you say seven? Four plus three is seven. Seven. So one of the things you can do at home is explore your doubles facts with doubles and near doubles. And if you don't have the materials to make a wreck and wreck, you could also use an egg carton and dried beans or marbles and drop them in the egg carton to show your doubles facts. So I could do four marbles in an egg carton and four marbles on the other row of my egg carton and then take and add one more or one less. That's a great way to practice your doubles and your near doubles. Stay tuned for a new video coming soon.